It is such a pleasure and a privilege after all these many decades to be here and to be a part of your big send off. But let's begin at the beginning where we should. Why did you decide to become a journalist? I learned early on about the power of the press. Uh, I was in high school, wrote an article for the school newspaper about problems I saw in the neighborhood I was growing up in. And uh, the article was published. And all my friends, people who I didn't really know, came up to me and said, I read your article. I could relate to what you, what you wrote. And I was so impressed with the power of the written word back then that I thought I'd grow up and be a newspaper man. You know, so I, I studied you know, print journalism uh, in high school. I was on the school newspaper. And then when I went to college, I was a journalism major. And, uh, but eventually, um, I got the, the television bug to be a broadcaster. You know, I had a mentor in my life uh, back in those early days. And uh, he was a newspaper man with the uh, York Daily Record. Now, well, formerly the York Gazette and Daily. And uh, he eventually went on to Washington and NBC News. And I went to Howard University and uh, he got me a job at NBC News, where I was for three years, eight months, working with the likes of uh, you know, Tom Brokaw. And, uh, and I decided then that I wanted to get into television. It was, it was boom times in television. Live television was just coming, coming about. Uh, it had a lot of influence uh, with the American public watching uh, the news. And uh, like I said, I, I wanted to be a newspaper man, so I was already had that, 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 that journalism bug, the, the thrill of the chase for the story, to put it together, to get it right, to get it first, and to get it on the air. Um, that's always appealed to me. And I like the feeling of a, a job well done. And, and at the end of the day, sitting around with your, with your colleagues, you know, for, for happy hour and talking about the news of the day and feeling a sense of accomplishment. Um, it's a wonderful craft if you have that fire horse blood in you to get out there and to get the story. I have to say you are the consummate newsman. I guess news person is the term we should be using. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that kind of runs through your veins in this way? Sure it does. Mm -hmm. I mean... That's why we get into it, and we get into the business. We like the craft of journalism, of, of researching the story, putting it together, getting it right, checking the facts, and then when you're at the point of, of either putting it on the air or putting it down on paper, uh, you're confident in what you're doing. And, uh, and when, it's, when it's done and when it's published or when it's broadcast, uh, there's a, sense of a, a real sense of accomplishment. And uh, you just can't beat that feeling. And I always, always enjoyed that. Um, as my television career developed, you know, I began at WGA as a reporter and then became weekend anchor and then became a weekday anchor and then 20 years ago became the main anchor. And that has always been uh, a dream of mine because I grew up in this area watching WGAL. So when I could envision myself working at Channel 8 and then one day being the anchor man, it was like a dream come true. And it has been. It's been a wonderful place. Uh, for me to work. It's been a wonderful career and, uh, you know, I have no regrets at all. We are so grateful to have enjoyed you all these years, Ron. I just can't believe it's here already. Wednesday's the day. I can't believe how much I've aged through the years. <laughs> I was going to say you've aged so well. I kind of look forward. Maybe when you're not on the air, you'll get that great hairstyle back, Ron. I really well, like well, that yeah. when you were just starting out. Yeah. Maybe I'll get a little, little help there in the, in the, gray, the gray. but <laughs> Well, you look well, beautiful, it's, babe. It's, it's always great wonderful. to hear what's, what's in your heart, Ron. Thank you. Thank you.